What's going on guys? It's Leon with Hit or Miss Gaming and we are about to have a, uh, a nostalgia factor here in a second. Old PS1 logo. Yeah. <laughs> So if you guys have been paying attention to what's uh, to, to uh, the channel update video that that was uh, been made public recently, you should know what I'm about to play. <laughs> it's a game made by SquareSoft. What could it be? Final Fantasy? No. And we are gonna sit through this, cause this is a badass fucking intro cutscene. It's so fucking cool! <laughs> oh, man. It's so badass. Like, I don't even know what else to say. It's like, every time I watch it, it's like it makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. It's it's like the culmination of everything that, that is and should be epic. Personified in one cutscene. Um... I just, oh man, like this, this game, holy shit. <laughs> so much, so much respect for this fucking game. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep it classic. We'll, we'll keep it classic. Or, uh, you know what, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Um. I'll go ahead and input myself, you know, because, uh, I'm the hero, I'm the badass, or, or wait, uh, shit, how, how do I go up, how, how do I go up, what the fuck is going on, what is real, what is real, <laughs> okay, so, I, I need to, oh, okay, here it is, change name, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so that was me coming up with my name. It's going to this is going to be a fun playthrough. <laughs> Anyways, what what was I saying? I guess I should just wait for the cutscene. Let's get a 
give me Mickey. It's always it's always Surge with Kid, followed by some random party member that you get in the game. What is it, Leon? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Boy, come on, Leon. Mickey. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll be any good. <laughs> Leon. Where do I fucking start? It, it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm gonna be pressing a lot of uh, crazy buttons. I'm, tr I'm trying to find my sprint. There it is. Okay, sprint has been located. What's that crystal-like thing? Some kind of switch bugger? So close yet so far. Cool. Oh man, this this game like I um there, there are just so many stories to tell, like about my past and like childhood, about like revolving around this game, like like so many hours spent. Holy shit! <clears throat> I don't even know where to start, honestly. We get to our first fight. Memories flooding back to me. Alright. <laughs> first fight, first attack, misses. Just my fucking luck, man. Right. Nikki's such a badass. He doesn't even need a real weapon. He, he just attacks with a guitar. Like, he literally... He kills people with rock and roll. That's what he fu that's his fucking thing, man. He just he runs up to you and he just shreds like a mofo. There's not a goddamn thing you can do. I guess I can use some magic and shit. I'll use my strongest one. Yeah, none of this shit's gonna matter. You, you guys will find out. Catchy music on it. Fast. God damn, I keep missing with uh, Surge. It's like he always misses, but every time he hits, it, he, he does like he heavy damage. Oh man, like, so like, like stories about this game, like, oh man, uh, when it, whenever I was, like, growing up and playing video games, um, my favorite genre, uh, above all else as a child, to play was, was RPGs, which, which, which may sound pretty weird, because it's like, kids don't play RPGs, or, or, or you know, it's, it's uncommon, really, um, because it's like, I don't know, it, it just seems like a lot of uh, complex concepts for, uh, you know, children to wrap their minds around. You know, lo lots of dialogue and, uh, you know, turn-based battles aren't very... They, they don't really seem attractive to, you know, to a mind of a child. But, but for some reason, like, uh, these, these games just appealed to me whenever I was growing up. 
and uh, the the funny thing is, is like I, w I would do my damnedest, that, like my freaking damnedest, to to get far in him and to beat him and stuff, and to like progress in the story to find out what happens. But uh, th there would just be a point where, where some of these RPGs it was like. I could not figure them out as a kid. I just couldn't do it. It was just unfathomable. And like, the, the thing about it is like, the, the, the thing that made these games so awesome is because like I grew up playing them with my sister and shit. Like me and my sister, we'd work together on games, uh, especially RPGs. And like we would just try our, 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 our like our absolute damnedest to get farther in these in like some of these games and we just couldn't do it. Oh shit, I'm skipping, skipping the dialogue. What are we doing out here? Wow, booger, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. Hey, Leon. You all right, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up? Who knows what's up ahead? So just stay on your toes, eh? Eh? Hey, buddy. That wasn't dark or grim or anything. Leon. Dot 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 dot. Good morning, Leon. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Oh man, I guess it was just one hell of a fucking bad drug trip. Jeez. Gotta lay off the bath salts. And so it begins. Alright. I know where some hidden I items are. But there is just so much in these RPGs. It's like you can only remember so much. It's not. It's not like Resident Evil 4 where I can, I can go through and memorize everything. Oh shit! I don't want to do that. Raise the curtains. Raise the curtains. Um. But yeah, like like uh, me and my sister, we would just work through these games and and try our best to get through them. And, and there's only so far you can go when you're a kid, but I, I came back to this to this game as an adult or, or a teenager, I think, and I and I actually played through the whole thing and beaten it, and it, it like it just felt like an accomplishment because it's like oh you know this was something that, that I worked on and and couldn't complete as a kid, and here I am you know beating it. It was it was like a milestone in my life or something. <laughs> I talk to mom. What's going on, mom? Good morning, Leon. Finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see you, if, uh, to see if you were up. But you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. <laughs> Don't I know? <laughs> uh, what? What the fuck? Move, Mom, you're in my way. Jesus. You're impeding the progress of your son, you know. That's not what good mothers do. Kitty! Kiki! Alright. I mean, the games that we did beat, uh, or the RPGs that we did manage to beat as children, uh, my, my sister and I, 
um, we we beat Lunar all the way through, and and like we like that was an accomplishment for us. Like that, because oh my god, the, the final but like boss fight of Lunar is, is it's it's just so impossible. It, it's it's ridiculous. Le Leoni, <laughs> Leoni, I don't know what that is. Ch check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy, Poppy got it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. But this sucker sure looks tasty. Mm -hmm. Look at that big fucking thing, man. Yo, Leon, what do you think of the sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? This has got to be the legendary Dragon King... Oh, I'm sorry. This has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Leon? Uh... I guess I'll be nice. You think so too? I knew it, I just knew it. If it really is true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in, I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail, eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Termina. Ah, uh, life is good. Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? That would, be, that would definitely be too good to be true. But thanks anyway, Leon. Ha ha ha. Thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like. I got a Komodo scale without lifting a finger. Sweet! I wish the legend was true, though. The Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough dreams out there lately. Ha. I guess he just repeats the same thing. Ah, uh, he's just gonna say the same shit. Well, fuck you, kid. Hey, Leon, beautiful day, isn't it? Uh, sure feels great outside. Uh, just being able to bask in the sun all day sure is a nice change. They say the rain cleanses one's spirit, but at, but at our age, we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean, old-timer? <laughs> Jeez. Questionable dialogue. I wonder if those soldiers are back at work digging that hole now that the rains have subsided. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems like the soldiers are digging up all, digging up all of Fossil Valley. I can't figure out what they're thinking. Why? Why would they want to dig up a place like that? Same shit. Same shit. And we'll get this uh, text dialogue box or whatever it is. Oh, it looks like you found it. Oh well, go ahead, take it. It's on me. Shellfish frame, sweet tits. What's in this house? I'm just let you know. Just let you guys know. I I am going to be doing extended, like longer videos with this because this is an RPG and there's a lot of shit to do. So yeah. <clears throat> So I expect my videos to hit like maybe the 60 minute marker, you know, as crazy as that might sound, but, but taking this at like 30 minutes at a time, that's going to take forever. So, humana, 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 she sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Mickey is. Poor town of Termina has a sh uh, share of dancers, but no, but no one, I say no one compares to Mickey. Mind you, I've never actually seen Mickey dance. Oh, how would I love to see them jiggle. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about her arms, of course. Yeah, sure. Her arms. Whoa, Leon, don't tell Grandma about this. Don't worry, uh, your, your secret is safe. With <laughs> Looks like the Viper Festival will be canceled again this year. Only celebration of El Nido Archipelago down the drain. There hasn't been anything good uh, to talk about since the army from poor took over the, the island three years ago. The islands three years ago. We wouldn't have to put up with this situation if General Viper and the dragons and the dragoons were still here. Yeah, these guys just pretty much repeat. Uh, same dialogue, it seems like. Yo, Leon, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? I haven't. You really haven't been keeping up, have you? It's pretty big news, even in El Nido. 
Those mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up on the mainland. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of poor can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. Let's see. Why, hello, Leon. Do you want to hear the, the, the real truth about the world? According to this woman, she's, she's, gonna, she's going to expunge to us the truth according to her. So... Anyways, insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude, the fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea, the echo of a remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how do you like it, Leon? Where you, where you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I went across the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and a paper. But look at me. I'm in this puny village. I'm in the in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What'd you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes! Just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on. No answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. What do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. Come on. Tish, fine. Just take it, man. Here. Uplift. <laughs> Alright, can I go through? Thank you. Yo, Leon, have you heard of your uh, message of the day from the Record of Fate? It's a green pyramid which records your daily activities for you. It's been said that this pyramid can not only record the past, but also tell about the future. But I really don't know if it's that, if it's, if it's that true or not. If that's true or not, I'm sorry. Get mixed up here and there. My wife will kill me if she finds me snacking like this. Same shit. Alright, that's, that's great. That's, yeah, I read that. You know, thank you for that. You're, you're, you're explaining the save system. We got it. Heckron bone. I found a Heckron bone. It's gonna come in handy in a minute. Ivory helmet. That will come in handy now. I think that is everything in this room, folks. Everything in this room. Yappy fucking ankle biter. Okay. I think that's... I've talked to everybody here. I think. Okay, that's that's enough. That's enough from you. I'm getting hung up on on the environment a lot. Have you guys noticed that? I don't remember it being that way. Whenever whenever I played this game in the past. Hey, Leoni, do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? <laughs> do I ever? No. A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales, you know? There's monsters that eat fire. I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh no! If I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. Yeah, I guess you are. I guess you are in a fix. And I'm not going to help you either. You gotta do that shit yourself, man. Yo, Leoni. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had that had it in you. That was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows your shows her who's boss, huh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit uptight, you know. Could you uh, like break her in a little, you know? Make her act a little more ladylike. You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. For some reason, uh getting lessons on what's more ladylike doesn't really come from like a young girl who's carrying around a giant fucking club that's just me though I don't know if you guys feel the same way or what but but there it is that, that's my opinion Leonie 
Don't be mean to my to my Celine. Celine Dion, is that you? <laughs> In the form of a Komodo dragon? Well, can I talk to the girl? Isn't my Celine cute? Daddy found her by Lizard Rock. A lot of baby Komodo dragons play out there. I guess it's kind of like their hangout. And you know what, Leonie? I really hate saying that. I really fucking hate saying that. Don't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you, okay? It's a secret, okay. Okay, anybody who's, who's watching this right now, don't divulge this, this information to anyone else. This stays between us. Lolo said he was going to get me some Komodo dragon scales. What should I do? Okay, folks, that's the secret. That is the fucking secret. I'm very disappointed. Hello there, Leon. World has it that the Komodo dragon skills are quite popular among the young'uns these days. So you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? Uh, I guess, I guess that's what I'm doing. For my girlfriend. Well said, Leon, you truly are a man of the sea. They don't call me the Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Leon. This is truly to another secret. Hey, man, you guys believe all the fucking secrets are running to? First part of the playthrough right here, man. Secrets. My super duper secret number one. Rock and roll to trap the sucker. My super duper, my bleh, super duper secret number two. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. My super duper secret number three. There is always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. But where these dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds, you must face them with wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning start. Use your lightning start and run like the wind. Whip past it with all your might. But I guess there's no point out running it and anyhow. It's all about guts, my boy. So once you catch up to it, you must fight, kick that little sucker's ass. If you don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> It's about all I can teach you, the ways of an expert. Now go, Leon. Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> sorry. That's okay, old man. I forgive you. Um, now, what, what that all was about, uh, if you guys have never played this game, he was basically explaining to you how to catch the dragons when you get to the, to the uh, first dungeon of the game. Do you, do you know about Lizard uh, Rock southwest of the village? I've heard that a mother Komodo dragon comes out every once in a while. I've told Kiki numerous times not to play there, but she never listens to me. I guess kids will be kids. You are aware that your child is in danger of being murdered by a ferocious Komodo dragon mother. Might want to get on that. At Kiki, I wonder if that child knows how worried I get. That goes for you too, Leon. You shouldn't be playing out there. It's dangerous. Damn, already almost at 30 minutes. It's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna do this playthrough, RPG playthrough. Ooh, ha! Huh. Hi, Leon. I was lost in my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly. Sometimes I'm just amazed amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on throughout generations, man. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding, su succeeding my dad. I guess you can say everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six horned narwhals, you name it. Narwhals. <laughs> they represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job, I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path 10 years ago, then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one I would have, which, I'm not saying which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you than might have been. Boy, life, life sure is complex. You're fucking telling me, pal. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Leon, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. 
I got fucking shark tooth, man. What'd you guys do today? I got a shark tooth from this dude. I just get this feeling that there's another me living in another life. It's just a funny feeling I have. Sounds crazy, huh? But if any reason you happen to meet him, I want you to give him that amulet and tell him it's from the other you. Alright then, I'll have to catch some more fish. I need to buy Kiki a new dress, you know? Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fulfill your crazy wackadoodle request. Um, you know, the, the chances of me finding your alternate self in a, some, you know, alternative form of dimension shit, highly unlikely, you know, n never will happen. But in the off chance, I, I guess, I, I guess I'll give, you know, the other guy the, the fucking amulet. Alright, here we go, I'm gonna pick up my, my photon ray. Yeah, I guessed it. Grandma here. Good morning, Leon. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird that the early bird gets a worm? Lena's over there on the pier. Looks like her mother asked her to babysit. Oh, uh, is that it? You'll find Lena on the pier. You can see her from here. You better hurry up. Take my advice, Leon. Don't make girls angry. You'll be lucky to get away with only a broken neck. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we've, we've had enough from you. I think that's all that's here was that photon, right? And a kitty! Yay! You used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pussycat, do you remember? When you were about wee high, you were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. Foreshadow. <laughs> but it's good that you've overcome that fear. Girls will think you're a, you're a weenie running away from cats. Same thing. I, I really didn't expect her to repeat that same line of dialogue if I if I continued to fuck with the cat. Oh, here's a uh, Porschel's house, or however you pronounce his name. This is me house. Enter at own risk. He speaks with some kind of weird lisp thing. If you got a lisp, you know it's totally cool. You know you can't help yourself. Um, but but this character here, it's like a like a dog weird like like a some kind of weird dog character, and he's actually rec recruitable. I'm actually gonna get him right now. But he speaks with a lisp or something. I, I don't know. It's just some uh, some kind of uh, talking mannerism that he has. Yo, my name's Toma the Fourteenth, but people usually put. The Great Explorer in front of my name. The Great Explorer Toma, man. I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know. Yo, I wasn't gardening. I, uh... I was really looking for treasure. Believe me, kid. This ain't gardening. I'm really busy. Now go away. Go on, scoop. Fucker. So... I think I found your treasure over here in this bucket. I'll never tell. Let's see what's in here. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. He is such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I, I, I've always assumed it's it's a Radius or or, or a Radis or something. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go with my gut instinct with uh, pronunciation and stuff. It says the ex the ecstasy and anxiety of the chosen one. A mega babe, a mega babe is in love with me. We, I'm on cloud nine, but I don't want to get dumped. It tells of how naive the hearts of man are. Only Chief Radius can come up with a golden saying like that. What is he like? This video game's version of, uh... Uh... Fucking Master Roshi? <laughs> oh, it's you, Leon. I think the Chief is outside. 
He said he was going to te teach some self-defense. He may be old, but he still has some fight left in him. You kids better not misbehave or else the chief will have to crack down on you. Same shit. Okay. Yeah, we got it. This guy's twerking on the floor. <laughs> this guy's fucking twerking on the floor. We came all the way out here in search of the legendary treasure, but our funds ran out. Once I'm done cleaning in here, I've got to do, I've got to do some yard work. We got to do something to cover our expenses. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have tried to persuade Sir Toma to look for treasure on uh, on the Xenon continent. Well, you didn't, did you? So you're fucked. You're doomed to forever twerking on this wooden floor for the rest of your life. You miserable pile of shit. Alright. That's exactly right, Leon. There it is. The record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you see one of those things outside, don't forget to record everything you've done so far. Think of how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do about it. Hey, you'd be up shit creek without a paddle, huh? If you listen closely, the record of fate will tell you lots of things, like what you should be doing next. And when you can't hear anything anymore, well, I guess it means you don't have a future. And you're sh shit. Well, when that happens, you should just go home and go to sleep. There isn't anything you can do to change fate. Kind of strange, isn't it? If you don't record what you've done so far, step up to the... If you want to record what you've done so far, step up to the record of fate and open up the menu. And select the block you want and follow... Okay, this is... I don't think I really need to read this shit. Yep, explanation stuff, explanation stuff. We got it. So I think that's all for here. Hi, Leon. I, Goji, know all and see all. I can tell you all you need. I know about using key items. Uh, no. I, I know key items, dude. Yeah, I do. The record of fate tells me not to go out to, 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 bleh, to, not to, go out to sea today. That's why I'm here for, for the Chief's lecture. Go against the record of fate and you'll regret it for sure. Days like this, it's best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. So, the Record of Fate is basically just like this game's version of astrology. I did everything just as Chief Rad Radius told me, and now the aches in my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is. Skilled, competent, and caring. I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. You can learn much from an old Chief, fr from our Chief, and grow up to be as great as, as great a man like Radius. Good to know. Hey, Leone, want to hear a secret? It's about po Poshul. Sure. Okay, but keep it a secret, okay? Ready? Poshul is such a pig when it comes to eating. She'll do anything if she's fed her favorite dish. Very unladylike, isn't it? Tempted by food? Okay, so... It just so happens that I have the food in question. Oh, is that a Hecarin bone? Leonie Poo. I a present for, for I? How do you know? Hmm, to accept or not to accept? Ahem. Me accept your present, men me shall help you. God damn, it's so weird to do this. <laughs> me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use your, me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Leonie Poo. What the fuck? Cool. I have a dog fighting for me. Um. Yeah, then that name's fine. That, that's that's fine. Cool. My my fir my first sidekick, and it's a fucking pink dog. Oh, Leon, how goes it? How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the, and the art of elements. Uh, no. Uh, no, I'm not gonna bother with this shit. Oh, fuck, I pressed X again. 
he's, he's just gonna he's just gonna give me this big long fucking tutorial of how the combat works I'm not doing it I already have somewhat of a grasp of, of combat uh, th I think that's it I guess I can continue on with the more uh, pertinent stuff this guy's sleeping Oh, it's you, Leon. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off there. By the way, Leon. Ugh, by the way, Leon. Do you like the sea? Sure. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. Just remember, Leon. Don't take the sea too lightly. Usually, you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of countless men swallowed by the seas? The hidden secret, the sea whispers. I recommend you learn the sense of the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. Right. You're late, Leon, sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Leone, Lena, Lena, look at me. Come on, guys, you should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. I don't know what that voice is. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that, not a single care or worry on our minds? How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. God damn, you might as well just kill yourself now if you want to sound that freaking abysmal about everything. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Jesus, lady, you just harp on about the same thing. Yes, we have to face up to reality and live each day anew. Okay. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you collect some some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you on a, at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Leon? Sure. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then. Don't stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think... Three should be enough. Good luck, Leon. I'm counting on you. So she's endangering my life all so that she could have her fucking necklace. Come on, Leon. Get your butt over to Lizard Rock already. I think I really deserve about a hundred scales, but I guess three will do for now. Once you get all three scales, wait for me at Opasa Beach. You know, it's south of Lizard Rock. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm running now. See you later. I guess that's it. I guess I should I should probably equip myself properly before I start killing shit again. You know, ivory mail, shit, ivory helmet. Okay, I got 300 G's, man. Loaded and shit. I don't want to use an helmet. I want to equip. Equip elements. So Surge's element is, is white or holy or whatever, I don't know. I guess I'll give him the photon ray. Right there, so he's got plus two photon ray. Uh I never really I never really use the tablets. Pushul uh, or whatever. Hit, uh, her element is yellow. Give him uplift. Cure. Yeah, okay. Uh, I wasn't sure if, if his or her element was yellow or not, but it's a yellow. So. Yeah, 
tablet. Nothing else really to put there. And I guess I'll give him... Trade out the tablet for the Aqua Beam. And we should be good to go, I'd say. I think that's all the important shit, really. Yeah, I'm gonna browse around real quick just to see if I can buy anything that'll help me out. I guess I guess she already has that that bone glove. I think I have like all the best shit really. For right now at least. I keep pressing start for the for my menu. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good to go. I don't think I really need anything. I mean it's 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 like in the beginning stage of this game, so it's like what you know what what complicated shit are they gonna throw at me? Like a one hit kill monster, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, now you're in Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Leon. Just don't be going near Hydra Marshes to the east if you go outside. Don't want you to run into those evil dwarves in that Hydra now. Yeah, discriminate ag against the dwarves, man. What did they ever do to you? What did they ever fucking do to you? Lizard Rock North. Alright, um, I, 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 if I can avoid a 60 minute long video, then, then that's what I'm gonna do. And, you know, we, we, we pretty much went ahead and did everything, uh, at least as far as I know, everything important to do at the village. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and cut it right here, and I'm gonna start the next video, and we're gonna get right through this dungeon, so, yeah. What do you guys think so far? Um, I'm having a blast. Um, I love this game. Um... I love old school RPGs in general. Um, they're just so fun, and this this is going to be this channel's first uh, RPG. It, it's going to take a while to get through. These games are long, um, but but I'm going to continuously keep chucking away at it. So just stick around. It's coming. Uh, you know, thanks for stopping by. Uh, leave a like, comment, uh, some feedback. You know, uh, greatly appreciated. And leave us some suggestions. And see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.